Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be showing you how to add the art album on towards your OBS and or XSplit, as well with the song title and a audio visualizer. So if you guys haven't yet, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Like the content, share it on your social media as this channel grows, you grow with us, and everyone gets educated. So this will work with Spotify, it'll work with iTunes, VLC, Winamp, and a couple other programs. So we're going to be messing around with um, Spotify first, and um, then we're going to use OBS. So if I were to play a song, uh, let's go ahead and choose a random song, and you'll see on OBS here and on XSplit that there's going to be the title and the um, art that will be displayed. So I've already configured that. So if I click play right now... Okay, so as you see on OBS and XSplit, they both popped up. So I want to talk about the program first, and I'm going to be showing you how to set it up on your XSplit and OBS. So the program is called Snip. You can get it for free, um, and it's awesome. I use it all the time when I'm AFK or starting up a stream. Um, I, I just use it in general. It's it's awesome. I'll provide a link in the description down below with anything else that may be related to this video. So. Once you have it downloaded it and installed, well, you don't really have to install it. You just drag it and drop it and towards your desktop or wherever. What you want to do is you want to run Snip and run it as administrator. Um, if you have Spotify installed from your Windows store, for like so, if you go to store and if you install it from the Windows store, it it won't work with that. You need to go to Spotify.com. And download the, the installer from there so just letting you know about that now that we have everything um, in place it's already running so let's go towards it and it would be this blue little icon right click on it and select the program that you're gonna be using which is Spotify if you have iTunes sweet cool um, if you have any of these other programs whatever um, but we're using Spotify so what you want to make sure that is make sure that this is check mark the save album artwork then go to keep Spotify album artwork and make sure it's hit on large because it'll bring out the artwork quality um, the picture quality you want it on large um, you want to make sure the cache Spotify metadata is checked and as well with these two now let's go ahead and add them towards our um, OBS and uh, XSplit. I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of these and we're going to start from scratch and uh, delete as well. Yes. So on OBS, I'm going to hit the plus button. Um, we want to add the artwork. You want the image slideshow, not the image, but you want the image slideshow because um, we're, we're going to name it uh, artwork. Uh, because we're choosing the slideshow, it's it refreshes um, between slides so it's always refreshing itself into the next artwork album so whenever the song changes it will always keep that consistency so you want to go down towards the image files hit the plus button add files then it will be your snip underscore artwork go ahead and hit open then hit ok then it will be on your top left then just um, resize it to your pleasing and now we're going to add the text here. So text, then um, name song, song name, song name, hit enter. And you want to hit read a file or read from file. And you can customize all this whatnot stuff, but we're going to keep the video short. And it'll show the snip and you're going to hit that. And go ahead and hit open. And now it's right there. Oh, why is it all vertical? Where did it go? <laughs> it, it's vertical. Weird. I want it horizontal. So we're going to do that again. Uh, read file from. Oh, because I hit vertical, I think. That's why. Now hit OK. Oh, what the heck? Why is it like that? Let's, uh, I'm going to put this down real quick. 
Oh, weird. Okay. Nope, so it's all normal. Yeah, and you definitely want to resize it as well. That's a no-brainer. So that's how you do it. It's weird how it went vertical for a second. But, um, so that's the artwork. Um, let's go ahead and move on to XSplit. And I'll show you how to add a visualizer at, after we add um, the stuff on XSplit. So let's go ahead and pause the song. And let's go ahead and remove it. Now, the same steps apply on St uh, Streamlabs OBS. Um, if you guys don't have it, you guys should get it. It's really awesome. Um, I'll be showing you how to do it on Streamlabs OBS um, in another video if you guys are having problems with it. So we want to go towards our widget. Then it'll say image uh, slideshow. Click on that. Then name it whatever you want. Now it'll say auto refresh image. Make sure that's checkmarked. Then hit add. Then add the uh, snip artwork. Hit OK. Uh, resize it to your pleasing. Then we're going to add the text. We're going to use custom script and hit edit. Then you're going to hit the template and you're going to choose low text from local file. Then it'll say file path, which you want to click on these three dots right here and snip. Then you're going to hit update. You're going to hit OK. Then we're going to hit play. So, yeah. Uh, resize it. You do all that creativity. We're going to go ahead and move on. So hopefully that makes sense for you. We're going to go ahead and pause it, um, the music. So let's talk about the visualizers here. In a previous video, I've talked about how to add these visualizers. So if I hit play right now and added some audio. turn down the audio on here so now you see these visualizers and you want to add it so where those bars are coming from um, again I talked about this in another video I'll put the link down in the description below so you can follow that tutorial once you have watched that come back to this video remember where you left off so um, once you have rain meter um, downloaded and installed we're gonna go ahead and move this stuff to the left and what we want to do is disable a couple of stuff. So let's go ahead and disable our loader. What child? What the hell? Stop. Weird. You're weird, child. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and unload that. So now only the bottom will start appearing. Anyways. Oh, and we also got to unload that skin. Okay, so we want to move the visualizer more above. And this is going to be a little bit of a pain. Okay, so we're going to move it right there, right? And now what we want to do is go ahead and let's pause that. We want to make this screen black. And yes, you're going to have to make this wallpaper black. Um, there's another way to do this, and I'll cover that in another tutorial. So you're going to go to right screen, or you're going to right click, and you're going to go to display settings. Then, or is it? No, it was uh, personalize. My apologies. You want to right click, then hit personalize. And you're going to go to background, and you're going to go to solid color. Then make sure it's black. And uh, we can move this stuff to the left. Um, this is something that's not really needed for y'all. Okay, so, and we want to go ahead and auto hide uh, the taskbar. So let's go ahead and do that. Or actually, we don't even have to do that. So let's, uh, let's play it real quick. Okay. So as you see where it's coming from, right? What you want to do is hit uh, OBS. Then what we're going to do is go towards our display capture. And we're going to just uh, capture the screen right here. So, ah, uh, crap. It just keeps mirroring. That's fine. We're going to 
minimize that just a little bit. So we're going to let the music play. And I'm going to just turn that down so you guys won't hear it. So what we want to do is on the keyboard, you want to hit Alt. Then you want to drag where the visualizer is playing at. And now what you can do is drag this on down. Oops. Drag that on down. And uh, you can resize it from here. And as it plays through. So we're going to move that down as well so the art will be in front of it. I know it's a little bit of a ghetto rigged, but this is definitely doable. Um, if you want to get rid of the black background, all you got to do is uh, go to filters, I hit the plus button, then go to your color key, hit OK, then custom color, then it'll be black. Uh, where is black? Oh, there it is. Okay. Then um, hit close. And again, everything is based on creativity. So let's go ahead and uh, do this on towards our X split. I'm going to go ahead and uh, minimize out of that and bring this up. Oh, no. X split. X split. Okay. So. Um, Let's go ahead and play the music again. Add our display. Capture screen. And this is where you can just drag and drop that. And move this at the bottom. And if you ever have any problems, you can hit Alt and it'll get rid of that as well. And then you got to move this down. And you can also resize it. And you can even add the filters and whatnot. So everything is all based on creativity. Um, if you can come up with something awesome for your BRB or AFK screen or whenever you're starting up, awesome. I hope this video helps you out. Um, I know the visualizer is a little bit ghetto rigged. Um, <laughs> how could it be ghetto if it's on the... Anyways, um, there's another tutorial I'm going to be covering for the visualizers. This is just one of the easiest ways how to do it. So, um, I hope to see you guys in the next video. If you guys haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And like the video, share it on your other social media and whatnot. And uh, yeah, I'll stay tuned for the next video. Peace out. What's up? Yeah, I'm back on my shit again. Chasing Benjamins, grinding till the very end. Yeah, every day I'm feeling great. Better than the day before, and you can see it on my face. Smiling with my glasses on, like I'm blind to all the hate. I can see all of you waving, I'm just acting like a cake. As long as you can see me, I ain't.